Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we review operation of Quantum's Fin Oscillation Simulator, which is a special tool designed for locally controlling fin motions. The Fin Oscillation Simulator interrupts the stabilizer main controller signal to the stabilizer unit and empowers an operator to locally control the stabilizer motions via this handheld device. The Fin Oscillation Simulator is packaged in a fitted storage case along with a 5 meter cable, which connects the handheld device to the Fin or Effector Control Module. In order to use the Fin Oscillation Simulator, the Fin or Effector Control Module must be modified with an additional circuit board and this external connection point. If these are not present, please consult with Quantum to arrange for their installation. To use the Fin Oscillation Simulator, first turn on the Stabilizer Main Controller and engage the Center Mode. Lock out and tag out the controller to deter unauthorized operation. At the Stabilizer Unit, close the Hydraulic Isolation Valve, typically located at the Pressure Filter or Stabilizer Manifold. Remove the dummy connector cap from the Fin or Effector Control Module and store it in the specially contoured slot in the case. Remove the cable and handheld device from the case. Ensure that the power switch on the fin oscillation simulator is in the off position. Connect the male end of the cable to the fin or effector control module. Connect the female end to the handheld device. Turn the power switch on the fin oscillation simulator to the on position. The power switch and ready indicator will illuminate when power is on. Then, Slowly open the hydraulic isolation valves. To move the stabilizer, set the roll period adjustment on the fin oscillation simulator to the desired oscillation speed. Then press and hold the move button to cause the stabilizer to oscillate. There are four speeds available. The roll period knob, when rotated furthest counterclockwise, corresponds to a long roll period in which the whole unit rotates slowly. The speed of stabilizer rotation increases with each clockwise turn of the knob. To minimize rolling motions of the ship due to stabilizer oscillation, it is best to set the roll period knob so that it is not close to the ship's natural roll period. The stabilizer only oscillates while the move button is depressed. Once the move button is released, the stabilizer unit will return to center and stop. To disconnect the fin oscillation simulator and return the system to normal operating condition, simply reverse the procedure. Close the hydraulic isolation valves. Turn the fin oscillation simulator power switch to the off position. Disconnect the cable from the fin oscillation simulator and the fin or effector control module and install the dummy connector cap onto the fin or effector control module. Open the hydraulic isolation valves. Then, return the stabilizer main controller to the desired operating mode. Please note that if the hydraulic isolation valves are open when the fin oscillation simulator is connected or powered on, a loud bang might be heard. This is a hydraulic hammer effect which can be avoided by keeping the hydraulic isolation valves closed when the fin oscillation simulator is connected, disconnected, or powered on or off. Thank you for watching. For more in-depth information on operation and maintenance of quantum stabilizer systems, attend one of our training sessions at our Fort Lauderdale, Florida office, or contact us to arrange for a training session on board your vessel. Contact information is available on our website at www.quantumhydraulic.com.